Hey guys, today we'll list 5 facts you didn't know about A Star Is Born. Let's get right into it. Number 1. Bradley Cooper wanted Jack White to star in A Star Is Born But did you know that Bradley Cooper, who directed the film and plays Jackson, was originally interested in Detroit-born musician Jack White for the lead role? Cooper had his sights set on someone other than himself for the male lead, according to a variety profile of Lady Gaga. Cooper said in the story, I saw this other person that I wanted to do this, who is an actual musician, he then added, but the studio wouldn't make the movie with him. Variety says an unnamed source, with knowledge of the talks, identified Jack White as that person. Cooper reportedly met with the former frontman of the White Stripes early in the process, before Lady Gaga was cast as Ali. Meanwhile, White, who now resides in Nashville, has experience on the big screen. In 2003's Cold Mountain, he played a Civil War-era folk musician, and in 2007, he played Elvis Presley in the cult hit comedy Walk Hard, The Dewey Cox Story. He has also appeared in Jim Jarmusch's Coffee and Cigarettes, as well as the 2016 TV revival of The Muppets and the Fred Armisen Carrie Brownstein sketch comedy Portlandia. Number 2. The drag bar scenes were mostly made up on the spot. Jackson Maine meets Ali while she's performing in a drag bar, a venue chosen to honor Gaga's gay fan base. Gaga said during the Toronto Film Festival, I made a joke sometimes. Behind every female icon is a gay man. She then said, I really wouldn't be here without the gay community. What they have taught me about love and acceptance and bravery. Many drag queens auditioned for the part, but when Lady Gaga discovered Shangela didn't, she contacted her directly. Shangela recalled to Hornet, Later I got an email from Lady Gaga's camp and they were like, LG heard you didn't come in for the audition. She really wants you to audition. She wanted to see you for this role. Cooper told William and Shangela, the two drag queens and former Drag Race cast members, who were actually cast in the film, to go off and do your thing on set. As a result, most of their on-screen interactions were improvised, such as when William's character requests that Jackson Maine sign her breastplate. Number 3. The movie was filmed at real music festivals, including Coachella. The film's first shoot took place at one of the world's most popular locations, the Empire Polo Club in Indio, California, better known as the Coachella Festival venue. The production, which took advantage of Lady Gaga's headline slot, filmed between the festival's two weekends in April 2017, which is why we see the two alone on stage as the sun sets in the palm trees at one point. Gaga enlisted members of her famously devoted Little Monsters fan club for the occasion, inviting them to dress country rather than glam and even charging them $10, which went to her Born This Way foundation. Cooper saw this as a way to stretch a relatively small budget, but Gaga saw it as an opportunity to immerse herself even more in the character, Ali. She said, When I actually look back at Coachella, it's more Ali to me. The film was also shot at two other major festivals, Stagecoach and Glastonbury. The Glastonbury performance included some A Star Is Born crossover. Chris Christopherson, who played Jackson Maine in the 1976 film, gave Cooper and Gaga four minutes of his Glastonbury set. Number 4. Cooper modelled his voice off Sam Elliott's, then cast Elliott in the movie. If A Star Is Born teaches us anything, it's that Cooper is devoted to his craft. He was so devoted that he worked 20 hours a week with a dialect coach to perfect Jackson Maine's deep, car wheels on a gravel road voice. Cooper modeled the voice of actor and director Sam Elliott. Cooper told IndieWire, I used Sam Elliott because I didn't want Jackson to be only a country musician, and I didn't want him to have an accent. Sam grew up in California, and his mother is from Texas, so it's kind of this great hybrid voice. Then, Cooper recruited Elliott to play his character's much older brother and manager in the movie. Elliot approved of Cooper's impression. Elliot said at that LA premiere of the movie, I didn't have any tips at all. He already had it down. Number 5. Cooper casted a lot of people from his life First, is it worth noting that Cooper casted his own dog? Cooper's dog named Charlie is a living bundle of auburn-coloured curly joy. Cooper desired that his relationship with the dog be genuine. Cooper explained to people, Our characters don't have a child together, but they have a dog together, and I wanted it to be part of their story. I love dogs. That meant a lot for him to be in the film. Cooper received a PETA Compassion in Film Award for casting Charlie in A Star Is Born rather than a dog from an animal exhibitor. Cooper also cast his own ear doctor in the movie, Dr. William Slattery III MD, president of the House Ear Clinic in Los Angeles. Most likely never imagined he'd be in a major motion picture. Then he ran into Bradley Cooper. Cooper asked Slattery, his own ear doctor, to appear in A Star Is Born when he was writing the script. Cooper's co-stars from the ABC show Ron Rifkin and Greg Grunberg also made cameos as his rehab group leader and limo driver respectively. Cooper's grad school pal, Gabe Vazio, makes an appearance, as does Drina De Niro, Cooper's Silver Linings Playbook co-star. 
Cooper finally cast his longtime friend Dave Chappelle in the film. That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.